Baruchim Abayim. Welcome everyone to a special edition of All Parsha, the Ben La Ashri on Parshas Kiseitze. The Ben La Ashri, the Tzaddik of Ranana, Rabbi Yitzchak Hakohen Huberman, who gave a Havtacha that he promises to be Mespala for anybody who says over his Dibay Torah in his name to bail them out of any Tzara, Ba'ilma Zev, Ba'ilm Haba. Well, let's begin with uh, the first offering. I'd like to share with you seven offerings on Parshas Kiseitze. Kiseitse la milchama. The Rashi Tevas of Kiseitse la milchama is Kaisa, a wall. As the Pasuk says in Yeshaya, that our sins create a Havdala. A, are, they are Mavdil between us and HaKadosh Baruch Hu when we go, when we listen to the Yetzahara. So when we go out to the war, if we succumb to the Yetzahara, Kiseitse la milchama, we erect a Kaisa. However, when we do Tshuva and we fight the Yitzhahara, and we fight his seductions, then the Koisel is turned, it is then turned on our enemy, like the Svarim right, that by doing Tshuva, you are Ma'or din on the Koichos of Ra. And therefore, the Ben Lashri reveals an amazing Gamatria. Unisanoi Hashem Lekech V'yadecha V'shavisa Shivyai is Rashi Tevois, Numerically valued, Vishav Toiv, the good returns. One who does tshuva, he brings good to the world. He is machria himself and the entire world. But the idea is, Kiseitse la milchama. There's a wall at stake. If we sin, if we succumb, we erect a wall between us and HaKadosh Baruch Hu. If we overcome the temptation, we erect a wall between the Koychais HaTumah and HaKadosh Baruch Hu with a Koysal. Now, the Ben Lashri quotes Rashi, Kiseitse la milchama, and Rashi says, what is the Torah allowing us to do over here? The Torah is saying that since you would live with the woman be'iser, so we have to give you a heter to live with her. Why don't we say the same thing by any Isurei Torah? Well, you know, pig it would be too hard to overcome the temptation to eat the pig, so on, uh, on Tuesdays when you pass by McDonald's, we let you do it. Or why don't we have the same uh, dispensation for Avodah Zarah? And the Ben La Ashri says that this teaches us a very important uh, insight into human nature, and that is the desire for Arayos is the strongest desire that man has. As the Gemara says in Yuman Daf Samachtes, that the Chazal were Choshesh, that for the Yetzar Hara of Avodah Zara, and they abolished it. And the Yetzar Hara for Arayos, Abbas went out, and they said, uh, leave it. Because otherwise, if you kill it, the world would be destroyed. So we see that the, uh, uh, the desire for Arayos is extant and is very powerful. In fact, the Gemara says in Ksubas and Daf Mem that if a, a Gentile invaders go through a city, all the Koihanois in the city are presumed to be violated. But in terms of barrels of wine, sealed battle, barrels are not... Uh, assumed to be tampered with. And the Gemara basically says that when the Goyim are going through the city, they will definitely violate any Isha that they can, but whether they will tamper with the wine, that is, uh, may not be the case. And that demonstrates to us that when it comes to Arias, the temptation is much stronger than any other Avera, and therefore we specifically find this dis dispensation of we have to allow the person to overcome it. We have to allow the person an option of living with her beheter, otherwise he will live with her beiser, because in fact Arias is the strongest temptation that exists in man. Now, the Pasuk says, Yisru aisoi v'lo yishma alehim. They will warn him and he will not listen. Now Chazal say, and Rashi brings it, we warn him. So the Pnei Yeshua asks the following question in Sanhedrin Ayin Aleph. Since the halacha is, if the father and mother want to be Meichel the Ben Sairu Moira, they can be. So in that case, the warning that they give the Ben Sairu Moira is what we call Hasra Safik. It's doubtful Hasra. We have to be able to warn someone, if you do this, you're definitely going to get punished. But if there's an option, if there's an opt-out for them not to get punished, then they would not necessarily get punished and because that is not a definitive warning. We have to be able to warn someone definitively. And therefore, 
says the Ben La'ashri, why would a Ben Saramara get Malchus? But why can't he say, look, when you warned me that I would get Malchus, it wasn't definite that I would get Malchus because he could always be Meichami. And basically, the Ben La'ashri gives the following answer, that when it comes to Nazir, the Pnei Yeshua has a good question. You see, the Pnei Yeshua uh, brings a proof from a Nazir. Toysvis asked by a Nazir, how could you warn a Nazir? Don't drink the wine. But we can't warn him that if he drinks it, he'll get Malchus, because maybe after he drinks the wine, he'll be Mater Neder on his Nazirus, and then he won't ever get punished. So the Ben Lashri says there's a very big difference between Nazir and the Ben Sairo Maira. In other words, the Nazir is Hasra Safik and he could be Mater Neder, and that would render his warning a Hasra Safik as opposed to the Ben Sairo Maira, who there's this option that the parents might be Moicha. And the difference is that it is likely for somebody to be Mater Neder on their Nazirus, especially if they violated it. And even if not, we know that making a uh, a vow for Nazirus is a sin, and somebody would want to uproot that, and therefore there's a very real, real, real possibility somebody might be mater neder on the Nazirus, as opposed to the parents being Moichal the Ben Sairo Moira, says the Ben La Ashri, where this kid's on a downward spiral, and the parents have suffered great busho chlima from the child, so the presumption is the parents would not be Moichal under these circumstances. Okay, we move on to offering number four. Offering number four is the Balaturim. The Ben Lashri quotes the Balaturim on the Pasuk via Saftoi al Toich Beisecha. The Balaturim says twice in the Chumash we have the word via Saftoi. We have here via Saftoi al Toich Beisecha, and we have via Saftoi in Tanakh Mitzaratoi. So the, the Ben Lashri offers as follows. Chazal tell us. There's seven Averos that warrant Saras, warrant Negoim, and one of them is Lashon Hara. Now what's the remedy for Lashon Hara? The Gemara Erechon says to Hezvav HaMed Beis, Limur HaTorah is the remedy. Therefore, the Pasuk says, V'yasavtoi mitzaratoi, how can you gather in from Saras? Cure yourself, remedy, heal yourself. The way is, V'yasavtoi al toich beisecha, by gathering into the Beis HaMedrash. As somebody who is in the Beis HaMedrash and is involved in the Marpe Lashon Eitz Chaim in Limur HaToyra, in learning all Parsha Shurim, they are protected from Lashon Hara. So, V'yasavta al Toich Beisecha, that is the remedy to V'yasavta Mitzaratoi. How can you cure yourself from Tzaras V'yasavta Mitzaratoi? The answer is V'yasavta al Toich Beisecha. Offering number five. This is Oyoim Venora. This is spectacular. Laisira es chamar ochicha. Do not look. Do not see the donkey of your brother. Oishoiroi or his ox. Noiflim baderch falling on the road. Vehisalamta mehem. And you're going to ignore them? No. Hakim takim imai. Support him. Says the Ben Ashri, he quotes the holy safer of the Chayz of Lublin. Chamar is a remez to David Hamalach. Ani v'roichev al chamoer. Shoyer is a remez to Mashiach ben Yosef. Bechar shoyeroi. Don't look at the chamar, Mashiach ben David. Ay shoyeroi or Mashiach ben Yosef. Noifle, Mashiach is called a noifel. Like in Sanhedrin, Sadi Vav. Mashiach nikra bar nafli. Don't look at him. Baderach. Baderach refers to chutzlaretz. V'hisalamta mehem. And you're going to ignore them. You're going to say, what do you mean? We're... We're, we swore we're not going to push the envelope, we're not going to force the Geula. So you're going to see the Mashiach, the Chamar, the Shar, who are called Noiflim. You're going to see them in Chutzarts and you're going to ignore them. You're going to say, what am I supposed to do? Don't say that. Hakeim! Now what does Hakeim mean? Hakeim is as follows. It is known that the 72 words of Ahaya Im Shamaya Tishmu El Mitzvah correspond to the 72 different names of Hashem mentioned by Rashi and Masech Sukkah. On top of the word Ule Avdai are the letters Hakeim. And the message is Hakeim, you know how you make sure Mashiach comes 
not by davening excessively and pushing the envelope, praying too hard, God, bring Mashiach, bring Mashiach. No, that we're not allowed to do. We're now to be doicheik b'tfila. But hakeim, hakeim is on top of the words ula avdoi, through our avoida, through our mitzvahs, that's how we're going to bring Mashiach. Takim is gematria takein. That is the cure all, the remedy for everything. Imoi means even though God will be with you and He's going to help you, so you would think, okay, God's doing everything. No, but you'll still be accredited for the uh, expediting the geula. And then two final offerings comment on three times we have the word tishalach. We have it by the mitzvah of Kan Sipar, of Shiluach HaKain, Shalach Tishalach Esoim. And we have it in Oz Yashir, Tishalach Aroincha, Send Your Wrath. And we have it in Barchi Nafshi, Tishalach Ruchacha Yibareyon. Now if you look in the Zayar HaKadosh, the Zayar asks, what's the purpose of Shiluach HaKain? Shiluach HaKain, I once had the great privilege to be Mekayim Shulach HaKain. Actually, I had the privilege a number of times, but the first time I did it, I was invited by my good friends in Williamsburg, Ochanan Klagsbald, and Rabbi Sacher Dov Teitelbaum, and they even made me a beautiful trophy case for my Shulach HaKain, and they preserved the eggs, they drained the egg, and it was a very uh, memorable experience. What is the purpose of Shulach HaKain? It is to, for Hashem to be ma'ira rachamim on Kla Yisrael to send us the Geula. So Rabbi Lezer asked Rabbi Shimon, and before we went into Golos, what was the purpose of Shulach HaKain? And the answer he gave was to gather the Nitzoytzois HaKedushois that fell B'Shviras HaKelem. To gather the sparks of Kedusha. Well, says the Ben Lashri as follows. Tishalach HaEim, send away the aim. Why? Sometimes the reason is to shalach charoincha, to be able to banish God's anger when we're in the Golas, we need to bring the geula. Sometimes the purpose of shalach hakein is to shalach charoincha. But if you're already in Eretz Yisrael and the base of Mikdash is standing, what would the purpose of shalach hakein be? Then it's to shalach ruchacha yibareon. That is, the nitzoytzes hakadusha that fell b'shviras hakelen, and now they're like ruchin, they're like spirits who need a body, Yibareyon, they will be recreated and they will be gathered in to be fulfilled through the process of gathering in the Nitzaytzais. Then the Ben Lashi offers another pshat. And that is the Gemara Kedushan Lama Testament Beis asks, what about the guy he went up to do Shluch HaKain and he did it and he fell and he died? What happened to the Torah's promise of Laman Yitav Lach Laharachta Yamim? So that is the question of the Baal HaMasayra. Shalach teshalach esho'im, but I have a question. Teshalach haroimcha, sometimes it, it seems like Hashem's anger is invoked through Shuluch HaKain. And the answer is, teshalach ruchacha yibareon. The kavana and the arich ha-siyamim is, liyom shekulay toiv, liyom shekulay aruch, at the time of teshalach ruchacha the time of Tchiyas HaMesim, Yibareun, that's when the Arich HaSyamim will be effective. Okay, so these are seven beautiful offerings of the Ben La'ashri. Wishing everyone an amazing Shabbos. Brachah Yimali Hashem Kol Meshalois Libchem Latoifah.